for me, ma'am. Uh, do a uh, quarter shrimp, please. How's y'all's morning going? Good. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in if you're new. We're out here on another beautiful morning in South Texas, fishing a little bit deeper water. As these water temps heat up, we move closer and closer into summertime. These fish like to get a little deeper and get out of that heat. We got a nice seawall with some broken down structure. Fished this area a couple times last year. I'll probably put the link down in the description. But uh, this is a great area for speckled trout, redfish, mangrove snapper. There's even some sheep's head that hang around here. Never know what you'll get into. So we're gonna be throwing some live bait this morning. Let's make a few casts and see what we can get. Our live bait setup is the same one we've always used. It's the insulated Yeti bucket. We've drilled some holes in the lid for aeration. I've got twin aerators going in here. I'm gonna keep those in a waterproof sealed container. These bubblers are great, but if you get any salt water on them, they wear out pretty quick. So seal that off. And then we've got the uh, accessory holder around the edge. You can put pliers, fish measuring devices, stuff like that. Got a couple different setups with us this morning. The first one we're starting out with is a 3 aught circle hook with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader up to a popping cork, 20 pound braid. We've got that rigged up on a medium action dial, a rod, and a pin 2500 spinning reel. I take the shrimp and I hook them right through the horn of the head. Try not to go into the brain because you want them nice and lively once you hook them. Oh, there's something chasing bait right in front of me. I just seen some mullet busting across the surface. Might have scared it with that lure. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. That didn't take long at all. Oh, it feels like a good one too. Golly, he's fighting good. Is this a red? Oh, it looks like a big drum. Oh, that's a nice trout. Might have to let him go. Oh, we got him. Ooh. Oh, that's a really, really nice trout, guys. Look at that guy. Oof, I think he's going to probably be over 20. Oh no, he's 19 and a quarter. I think we're going to clean some fish today. Since we have a nice fish cleaning station right here. Oh, seeing stuff blow up all over out here. something mm. skipjacks you will catch a lot of skips out here big ones too unfortunately that's part of the game they usually stop eating though first thing in the morning Skip, another skip. Need the sun to come up so these skipjacks start hammering my lure so much. These guys will mess up a leader. Hmm, there we go. There he is. Oh my god, them skips are insane. <laughs> Skipjack are just ah these skips, man. Skipjack city right now. Ah.
Feels like a pretty good fish. Doesn't feel like a skipjack. I don't know what's running fast now. Oh no, that's a trout. That's a nice one. It's got my line all crossed up. And I'll tell you, we've caught our fair share of skipjacks today. These are some nice healthy trout. Nice pretty colors on them. Well, we had to weed through a lot of skipjack. We got a couple of nice trout on the stringer. Might be on a pattern now. Let's see if we can't pick up a limit. Nice trout. Oh yeah. Ooh, probably barely legal, but I think we can do a little better. Oh, actually he's probably around 14 or so. We can do better than that. Normally these fish are a good 60, 70 yards off the seawall, but I don't think the water temps have quite heated up to the point to where they want to push out deeper. They're holding a little tighter to the seawall closer to the structure. Boom, baby. That's a solid one there. Like a fat 19. Oh, yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, we're going to need a new hook on that guy. Boom. Picked up a really nice fat 19. We're going to throw this one on the stringer with the other two for our limit. May try to catch a few more for fun, and then we're going to go clean these up. Probably get out of here and beat the heat. So far, amazing day. We ended up getting a quarter shrimp this morning. We have an absolute ton left. All right, we've got a new hook on and a fresh shrimp. Let's cast back in and see if we can hook up again. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Got him. Not a big one, but very aggressive. He came up and absolutely hammered on some bait. There was some other bait around my lure I seen scurry off when he hammered it. There we go. We got him. Oh yeah. Trout piece. Oops. Little trout skis. Feel like a very big one, but he did hammer it. Keeper. Definitely a keeper. Very 
There he is, there he is. Oh yeah. That guy hammered it. Oh yeah. Nice trout. Woo! Mr. Wiggles. I had to change popping corks. I like the sound of the voodoo, but it has that wire through and the wire kept getting wrapped with these shrimp popping. So this has got that flexible nylon material. Hopefully it won't get wrapped as much. trout from the looks of it. Ooh, he is feeling some drag on me too. Yeah, that is a really nice trout. Beautiful trout. Ooh, there we go. nice one we could probably sit out here and catch these guys all day but it's getting to be that time of year where the heat will start getting to you after about 9 30 10 o'clock i might have to get off the water here soon there we go mm, got him a little trout over there chasing bait in the corner little guys they're fun to bang away on though Oof. Right in the corner of the mouth again. Well, we got a nice limit of some upper slot trouts. A good 19, 19 and a half inches. Gonna load the stringer up today. That's some nice ones. We're gonna head back, get these fish cleaned up, and get out of here before the heat gets too bad. Appreciate each and every one of you watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.